You can see what these powerful storms can do. They can reach us in the inland northwest too. Meteorologist Matt Gray is in the First Alert Weather Center to explain a way to predict how powerful these atmospheric rivers will be, Matt. All right, thank you guys. It's pretty clear. These atmospheric river events, they are one of the most severe types of weather in the western U.S. Scientists at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in San Diego spent years developing a scale to measure the power of storms like this one. This is the atmospheric river scale. It was first published back in 2019. The more moisture a storm has or the longer it stays over a particular area, the worse the impacts will be. And this is just a scale that explains that. Level one, well, that's pretty beneficial rain. Level two, mostly beneficial. You get to three and higher though, and that's when problems like flooding and mudslides start to overshadow any benefit that that sometimes much needed rain provides. As this latest storm tracks up the coast, it is gonna bring level three conditions to Western Washington. Washington, as Chris just showed you, but it's only going to briefly touch level one on this side of the Cascades. Atmospheric rivers that track more west to east, unlike this one, which is definitely tracking a little bit more north to south, as you can see on the radar and satellite picture. Well, they can push moisture through the Columbia Gorge and over the inland northwest. And in fact, something very similar to this happened around the holidays. We had flooding, we had damaged roads around the region, some of which you can see in those pictures on your screen. So in the inland northwest, the storm getting up to, say, level three and getting over to this side of the Cascades would be fairly concerning. So this is just another tool in our toolbox that we can use to keep you alert and informed when severe weather is on the way.